my name is Ataya Blanco. I'm a paramedic firefighter for Key Largo Fire. I've been with Key Largo Fire Department for about three years. I'm a driver for them. While I've been there, I've worked on my fire fire officer one, two, and I also have my inspectors. With Key Largo Fire Department, we run with a lot of BLS, ALS calls, fire calls, and we do extrication also. Now, Today we're going to talk about fire safety prevention and we're going to go into extinguishers. But before we go into fire extinguishers, we're going to go into how fire, why we have fire. So with fire we have fuel, heat, oxygen, and a chemical reaction, which is our fire tetrahedron. Without any of those, we don't have a fire. So we're going to go into our extinguishers. So right now we're going to go into our CO2, our carbon dioxide extinguisher. This is our CO2 extinguisher. And how and how you can know, how do you know that's a fire CO2 extinguisher is that it has a large horn. And if you're not sure still, usually a lot of extinguishers will have dry, um, water, dry chem, wet chem, it will all say what the extinguisher is. Now for the CO2, with the large horn, it also does not have a gauge. Now with that, it's because it's extremely high pressurized. And if you were to actually use the CO2 extinguisher, and when you actually were to squeeze and press, bits of dry ice may come out of it because it's so cold coming out of this, the horn. extinguisher also displaces oxygen from the fuel which is that's part of the fire head tetrahedron. Now these extinguishers are your dry chems. Now some dry chems will have also a horn depending on the manufacturer where you're at. Now these do have a gauge. About two-thirds of it is monoammonium phosphate and then the rest is nitrogen filled. Now these are ABC, and the ABCs is your different types of fires. A is your combustible fires, which is like wood and paper. B is your flammable liquids like gasoline, and C is your electrical fires. extinguisher, class A extinguisher, or, just, or you can look at how it looks and usually a good portion of these are silver extinguishers as you see. Now for the water extinguisher you have your pressure gauge, you have your hose, and in the back you have your little uh, When we use a fire extinguisher, we're going to use the acronym PASS. Pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. Pull refers to pulling the pin. A 
refers to aim. S refers to squeeze. S means sweet. As you see, a pressurized water can is like using a giant squirt gun. As you see, all the extinguishers all come in different shapes, sizes. I just wanted to teach you just the basic types of extinguishers that you may see or use in every day. But there's many other fire extinguishers out there too for different fuels and so forth. But today's lesson, I just wanted to teach you just the basic. So, so be aware of where you're at, where you're, your home, your business, before using these. So be familiar with your extinguishers. Hopefully you practice good fire safety so you never have to use any of these, but if you ever do, you have an idea how to use them and what to look for for